It's wonderful when the work resonates. It's beyond what you expect. Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Mama, please don't go to sleep now. No, 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 leave the other one. Sing, sing, sing with my heartstrings. From the moment I saw him, I fell. The really good news is that with the internet, there's no limit to access to things that might have been once in people's personal archives, never to be seen again, you know. And secondly, we had time. We had a lot of time, you know. We had this conversation to begin in 2017. So I had all that time until 2018 when we began to film and do pre-production in, in early January. To, to read and collect things, and what a job, right? Yeah. Here's your job. You go read all these biographies and go to your vocal classes, and you know, it was wonderful. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. Yeah, we went to a couple of iconic studios when David Livingstone, the producer, first called me, and I was asking him, whether he was out of his mind. <laughs> he said, just, just come to London and we'll just talk, we'll talk. And we'll try some things. We'll take some pictures, we'll put some makeup on, and we'll try some songs, you know. We'll go to Abbey Road <laughs> and we'll just try some songs. And I thought, yeah, we'll just go to Abbey Road and try some songs. Yeah, I was on the next plane. <laughs> you have to be home for your mommy to put you to bed. Yes, I was very nervous, but I was nervous from the moment that I, you know, read the script to imagine performing those scenes. I've you know, never done anything like that. Rupert is a really, he's such an interesting director. You know, he's um, all about nuance and he's all about uh, the connection to the emotion in the words, not just the words. When we were putting the first number, which is um, by myself on its feet, he wanted me to really feel the struggle that Judy is feeling internally at that moment, not just in the performance and with the words and how the song builds and whether or not she will be able to access her instrument in order to pull it off, but in her life, in the way that the song is a parallel for her life at that moment. And so he, he stopped me singing and he said, come here, come here. And he said, just put your hands on the piano, on the side of the piano. And okay, now sing and push the piano. Try to move the piano while you sing because that's the, that's the weight of the struggle that she's experiencing in the moment. And it's miraculous. He wanted that to be in my bones. When the thing that matters to you personally then goes on to matter to someone else, it's very special. It's not just what you hope for, because when you go into a project, you know, as an artist, it's really selfish. It's because you're curious about something, and it's because you want to see something manifest in the world, not because you want to elicit a reaction um, to what you've produced, do you know? It's very insular, that, that collaboration with your, with your uh, filmmaking friends. It's wonderful when it resonates, when the work resonates. It's beyond what you expect because the making it is, is so indulgent anyway. That you get to do that is such a beautiful thing and that it turns out as you hoped it might, which is the chances of that are so small, that that's miraculous and thrilling. And then when people respond to it in that way and they're moved by it in the same way that the material and the experience moves you personally, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. And then to be recognized alongside that, it's absurd. Dream. Really do come true.